El Jadida, which means the new. It's the city where we'll take you today in this new video. So let's start our tour. We are in the Portuguese city in El Jadida, which stood the test of time for centuries. Many buildings still exist, such as the Church of the Assumption, built in the Manuelan style of late Gothic architecture. To the church, you will see the first citadel, a rectangular building with four towers that was built in 1514. One of the northern towers was later repurposed as the base of a 19th century minaret built for the nearby mosque. The citadel has one of the fantastic monuments, the Portuguese cistern, which is beneath the citadel. Currently, it is closed for renovation. However, you can check how it looks like in the UNESCO website in the description box. Between 1541 and 1548, the citadel was enlarged, transformed into a star-shaped fortification, which we will discover in a while. First, we have breakfast at the Caliphate Cafe, which is on the rooftop over there on that building. The Caliphate Cafe has a stunning view of the city and the ocean. The rooftop is given an almost 360 degree view over the Portuguese city, where you can see the Spanish church bell tower, one of the bastions, the top of the tower of the old citadel, and the bell tower of the Church of the Assumption. Well, these are the ones I could spot. Probably you may be able to see more. This city is one of the early settlements of the Portuguese explorers in West Africa on the route to India and is an outstanding example of the interchange of influences between European and Moroccan cultures, well reflected in multiple aspects of the city. Since 
the 16th century, the Portuguese city has preserved its architecture and is registered as UNESCO World Heritage Site, as well as one of the seven wonders of Portuguese origin in the whole world. visit Casablanca or any of the neighboring cities, make sure not to miss Al Jalila. The Portuguese fortified city was named Mazagao and had five bastions with the citadel at the center. At the present time, the fortification has four bastions since the fifth one is in ruins. Each bastion is given a beautiful and unique view. fortress was restored in the middle of the 19th century, hence the name of the Jadida, which means the new. Along the cistern street, you will find multiple handicraft shops where you can get sustainable and useful items. As you must know by now, it's very hard for me to resist Moroccan handicrafts whenever I see them. So this time I fell in love with this palm leaf beach bag, which I'm sure will be very useful. Now it is time to go to Sidi Bouzid to have lunch. We thought to stop at La Plage restaurant, where we are now, to have our lunch. So the restaurant is in Sidi Bouzid, which is a seaside resort town, just a few kilometers from El Jalida. So we'll have our lunch here, then we'll continue our tour. So stay tuned! After having lunch, we sat at a different table to enjoy the view of the pristine crescent-shaped beach of Sidi Bouzid. We left.
left Sidi Bouzid to go back to El Jadida for a walk in Spinney Park. Look at this, how beautiful. Even the green, it, it looks like a filtered picture. It, it doesn't look like really natural, but it is natural. That much, it is perfect. The area is really quiet and peaceful. There is greenery everywhere. It is really picture perfect. Very relaxing. There are benches everywhere. You can sit in the shade, like where I'm sitting currently or in the sun. Variety of plants and trees are there to look at. It's really a good delight to the eye. The park is not only perfect for students, but also for people who would like to work out, since it has been arranged to make it easy for them. A great way to end the day in El Jadida is to go for a horse ride in the Hausia beach. So we went to Riding Cove du Hausia, a recently opened equestrian club by Rashid. excellent riding instructor. He is patient, gives you time to bond with the horse and motivates you and helps you progress gradually. If you happen to be in El Jadida, don't miss the fun of a horse ride with him. You'll find all the information you need about his equestrian club in the description box. There you can see the Titanic of El Jadida, a shipwreck that has been there since the late 80s, which only until the end of last year collapsed under the force of the Atlantic waves. As a result, only few parts are visible today. <coughs> By now, me and Antar. The horse got along and went for a little ride on our own. I didn't plan for the horse ride today. I was thinking to just go for a walk by the beach. I decided to go for it in the last minute 
and it turned out to be a great decision. After this one hour ride, Antar was brought back to the stable and was attacked by Rashid. had some water, he started claiming his treats, which were well deserved, and he was clearly enjoying them. I tried to hide the last carrot from him, and his reaction was hilarious. I hope you enjoyed our video for today. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, with more to see in Morocco. Bye bye!